Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I want to do a quick tutorial on using the cutter tool in Toon Boom Animate Pro. And this is also, I believe, for a Harmony. Um, I'm used to using uh, masking when I want to do something uh, as far as cutting out parts of an area. And that's mainly because I use uh, Animate more than Animate Pro. And what I would normally do is I would select here and I'd grab a little masking area. But if you look at the drop down menu, there's no masking here. So, okay, well, what do you do? Well, you think, well, darn, why would they leave that out? They didn't leave it out. They gave you something a lot more powerful and that is the cutter. And that's one of the modules. And I want to show you really quick how you would use it. Um, so I have two different layers here. I've got the stroke and I've got the box. So what I want to do, uh, first and foremost, I want to make sure I can see my network. So I've brought this up over here and um, I can actually, if you don't have the network here, you can just add it uh, by clicking that little arrow and dropping down here. So we have the box um, and we have the stroke. Now what I want to do is add a module and I'll go to my module library. And what I'm looking for is the cutter. So I'll simply drag this up here to my network. Now, for the fun part, we have the stroke, we have the box. So what I want to do is take the box, I'm going to take this little wire here and put it on the right side of the cutter. And I want to take the stroke, put it on the left side, and just drag this straight to the composite. Okay? Now, so, the way this works, the box is what we want to be the main item, and, and that's going to be on the right side. The left side is what we want to have as the mask. Okay. So the cool part about this is now, why is this better? Well, I'm going to jump back over here to our timeline and it's just a simple little area right here. And what I want to do now, I'll go ahead and extend the frames here. Let's do F5 both layers. Let's do F5. And I'll turn on my animate button. And we'll insert a keyframe. Let's do F6 at the beginning. And let's say by frame 40, um, we want to maybe rotate or maybe even distort how the little stroke is going to be. So we're able to work on that and uh, start moving different pieces without having to worry about the masking of this and actually ungrouping or separating the mask or anything like that. So we can just do straight animations just with the cutter there. And I can even double click directly on the cutter and select it to be inverted if I wanted to do it that way. I'm just going to undo that command Z and that is pretty much the basics of using the cutter module. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.